Hi, welcome to this tutorial on position vectors. Now, suppose I had the vector AB equaling 3i plus 2j, where i and j were the unit vectors that we should be familiar with, the unit base vectors 1, 0 and 0, 1. So what would the vector a to b look like? Well, let's take away those unit vectors first of all. If we were to draw a to b, the problem is I don't know where a is and I don't know where b is. I just know their relative position to one another. I mean, suppose I had a here with coordinates minus 4, 1. b would be 1, 2, 3 units across in the i direction and 2 units up. So b relative to a, let's just mark them on, would be in these two positions. And the vector a to b would be that one, 3i plus 2j. But as I say, I don't know where a or b could be. They could be absolutely anywhere on here. The relative position of b to a is always going to be 3i plus 2j. Well, let's just put this displacement vector here. Now when it comes to position vectors, if I talked about a position vector 3i plus 2j, it's a special vector that starts at the origin. The origin being this point here, O. So if I went from O to some other point C, I know that it's starting from here and we're going 3i plus 2j. So 3i plus 2j takes us from the origin to there. So we've got this vector. And so this is the point C. And notice that the coordinates of C are going to be exactly the same numerical values that we have in the vector. 3, 2. So it'll have coordinates 3, 2. Unlike our coordinates here for a and b, remember they're going to keep changing because that vector is a displacement vector. But when we have a position vector, it always starts from the origin. Now suppose I had a point d, say, with coordinates minus 2, minus 3. What would its position vector be? What would the vector look like? Well, the vector would look like this. It starts from the origin and goes to the point D at coordinates minus 2, minus 3, minus 2, minus 3. It's going to be a vector starting from the origin, going to there. The vector can be written as a column vector as well as I's and J's. It can be written as minus 2, minus 3. Or you could even write it in terms of i and j's as being that o to d equals minus 2i minus 3j. So I hope that's given you an idea with two dimensional vectors. Now I can do much the same when it comes to three dimensions. When I've got my three perpendicular axes x, y, z my unit vectors i, j and k and if I took a displacement vector let's say we've got the vector a, b inside this cuboid then the vector a, b is going to be 4i plus 3j plus 2k but we can move this displacement vector around the vector a to b is still going to always be exactly the same yet the coordinates of a and b are always going to change. But if I was talking about a position vector then the vector has to start back at the origin. So when we move it back to the origin we've got a point b. Point b has coordinates. Those coordinates now are going to be 4, 3, 2. So we can think of B as having the coordinates 4, 3, 2. And the position vector of B, written as either say B or O to B, well that is going to be 4 in the I direction, followed by 3 in the J direction, followed by 
2 in the k direction. So you can see that the values that we use in the vector are exactly the same values that we have as the coordinate. We could also write O to B as a column vector and that would be 4, 3, 2. So it's up to you, whatever you do. But you've got to notice that there is a difference between a displacement vector and a position vector. Position vectors always start at the origin. Okay, well I hope that has been of some value to you and that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.